All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CADCAST episode number 687, live from E3. As always, we're joined by a man who couldn't be happier to be back at E3, Wombat. I mean, I love it here in LA. I mean, it's, first of all, thanks again for, you know, springing for the hotel. No, 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 no. E3 is all around you now. You don't have to go to LA for E3. It just come. it's what just am I everywhere. Doing in LA? <laughs> I can we can see you, you know. Oh. This isn't theater of the mind anymore now that we have video. Uh, you're supposed to roll with it. What you should have done mm-hmm. is you should have immediately pulled up a green screen background of you in LA. Of me at the yeah, like me outside the Staples Center. Yeah, we didn't plan that, but that would have been good. That would have been funny. Next year. <laughs> <laughs> is there gonna be E3 next year? Oh boy. In person, right? If, yeah. It's yeah, got to be. Yeah. We'll get into that later, I'm sure. There's a lot of E3 talk later, right? Yes. People... Maybe. Yeah, there is. People love yeah. uh, to hang out and around video games and money. So why wouldn't there be an E3? In some, you know... I, I, yeah, yeah. Because this I, one I think... sucks! <laughs> I don't know what your opinions this, this are, is but... Like a, this is like a not E3, but yeah. This it's... is like, I'd rather just stare out the window than, than look at YouTube. But maybe we're Remember getting ahead of ourselves. Everybody was like, maybe we don't really need a an E3. And it's like, oh, let's do it all digital. And then... And day two we, is like in television is leading the uh, I think I, broadcasts. You don't realize like if you don't have the physical presence there, it's not getting everybody's attention to actually go participate and have big announcements and uh, work on stuff for a big presentation like this. Right, so you get well. I we I made a YouTube we can, video. We made a video. You want to watch our video? We we'll pretend that it gets live, and we'll broadcast it at a certain time. And and it's just the the fact like you get some like the press conferences are a very small part of E three, right? Like, like the worst part usually. Right. Other than like the big, the big three who don't even all do press conferences any, anymore. Like, other than your Microsoft, Nintendo, Sony, the other press conferences, you don't want to be there. Right. Like right. You don't want to be there. It's it. There's not enough meat for these other companies to have <laughs> a press conference. You barely want to watch those on the TV in your hotel room under protest, but you do we it. Did. Maybe. We did. I, and I watched some this year. I, I watched some of them. Right. There weren't that many, so you could watch most of them without like feeling like overburdened. Right, right. Well, we should talk about that maybe a little a little later, because I feel like we don't usually talk about video games until like 50 minutes into the show. But uh, we do have Father's Day coming up, and I was wondering if anybody had any big Father's Day plans. Or do you know what gifts you're getting? Well, I already got my, my gift. Is it that t-shirt? It's this T-shirt from the zoo that was free. No, it's uh. <laughs> That's a shitty gift. Sorry. No, my grill, my new barbecue. Oh. I got a new barbecue grill. I've already grilled more this summer than I did all of last summer. Is it an app-enabled grill? It is not app-enabled, but it is a propane grill. I've never had one of those before. You got to have an app now. You've never had a propane grill before? Nope. Wow. All it right. Has, I guess it has, uh, it's good. It has LED lights on it, too, so I can grill at night. You know what's nice about those propane grills? A lot, e- <laughs> lot easier to start than them uh, charcoal uh, grills. Yeah. I don't know if you heard about that. Yeah, I guess you just a lot found easier out. to start. That's why I've been grilling more. I even grill for lunch sometimes. I'll be like, oh, I should have something healthy for lunch, but I, if I eat another sandwich, I'm going to jump in front of a moving truck. So how about I make uh, some grilled chicken? And I can just make that for lunch because I'm here. That's a pretty good Father's Day gift, I feel. Yeah. Yeah. I was very happy with it. Still uh, still am. I don't think mine's going to be that good. Well, sorry. I mean, it's really like a for everybody thing, though, too, right? Sure. It's like the bowling ball with Homer's name on it. But It's like, you know, everybody wants grill food. Right. And also, I have to work. It's right. like, here, here, cook us things. Man, right. man with grill, cook things. Grilling, like how much work really though is is grilling? It's not a lot to, of work. I have to stand there. If it's no, hot don't. out, it is. Yeah, you don't have to stand there. I have to make sure it doesn't burn. Sure. 
that's I that's to, that's the amount of effort you have to put into the. I grilling. have to flip <laughs> the things on the grill it's, with it's, the barbecue tools that I got as fun. a wedding every, present. Every guy <laughs> loves it. Loves to to cook meat on a grill, charcoal or propane. Yep. Why? What are you getting? Uh, I don't know what I'm getting, but I bought myself a. Well, hold on. First of all, if my dad is listening, you should stop listening now because I'm going to reveal what your Father's Day gift is because I bought, wound up buying one for myself He's as well. He's not listening. He does listen. He does listen. He he will check in every once in a while just to see what I'm up to. And then he'll surprise me with like, oh, I heard you uh, took I a big shit. Farted, I, I heard you farted on the train. Yeah. <laughs> so dad, stop listening now. Skip ahead a couple minutes. So I bought, Shipwreck talked about this product before on the CADcast, the At Games uh, Ultimate Gamer Stick. You know those, you got one right behind you, right? I, I do. There's one on the, the floor there. I was looking at the name of the Legends Gamer. Legends right? Gamer. Yeah, that's what it's called. But I got the Legends Gamer Mini because the, the full double thing is too big. That's, that's, that's intense. And plus it was on sale at Walmart for 90 bucks with free shipping. So I'm going to get that and I'm going to mod it like the way you suggested to put the uh, coin, coin ops X on it. I think it's called mm -hmm. and he's going to be into it. He's going to really like it because he likes all that. He likes all those old games. And I looked at a video about that interface and that is slick as hell. And yeah, it's pretty good. The, the only thing you'll, you may, your dad's tech savvy enough to do the updates and everything like there. There's I can do updates it for him that come, too. Yeah. But so. I'm happy to do it for him. But yeah, and I for bought price, one for myself. It's, it's really good. Oh, you did? Yeah. I mean, it was, it's 90 bucks. I figured like in case my father's day gifts are lame, at least I'll have this. And uh, so, yeah, I'm excited to check that out. It seems like a good deal for 90 bucks to be able to play any, any arcade game on your television with a good quality joystick. So, uh, yeah. And we're going to go to, we're going to go to a museum also and eat meat at a restaurant. So we got that going on. What's going on, Wombat? Nothing. What are you reading? Uh, nothing. Doing doing a little reading over there? I'm just looking at the outline. Okay, how's it look? What do we got? Right now, it just says Father's Day plans on it. Well, I was just talking about that. Did you hear that? I know. You're going to a museum. Congratulations. Right. I'm I am like... not. I'm going to my parents' house. Oh. Yeah. Well, what can you do? Is it like a museum? <laughs> no. Does it have a lot of st old stuff in it? No, not really. Oh. Yeah. Do they have Werther's Originals? My grandmother's there. She's 99. Does that count as old stuff? Yeah. There you go. That is pretty so, old. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, should we do some show feedback? Sure. You know, oh, I guess that's a read them. Uh, that was a joke. It was supposed to be funny. Didn't I get it. Okay. Uh, well, you don't get it. Gota has to say, my 17-year-old son finished the Mass Effect Limited Edition in a little more than a week. The Xbox Series X is so fast that there are almost no loading times. You can just put on the subtitles and skip tons of dialogue if you want. It really changed how these giant open world games work. What used to be a forty, what used to be forty hours to complete, can now be done in twenty two. I can I can confirm this because I also finished the first Mass Effect in approximately twenty two hours. Actually, I think it was huh. also exactly twenty two hours. So. Yes, I finished the first Mass Effect. I'm on to Mass Effect 2, but I'm taking my time with that one. It sounds like it. What? That you're taking your time. With Mass Effect 2? <laughs> well, just with Mass Effect. 22 hours. 22 uh, hours isn't, still isn't short. It's not. Uh, no. And I don't know what Cheapy's doing. I don't know. I'm trying to He's fix the, uh, there's something wrong with the video. You can keep oh, talking okay. while I try oh, to figure okay. it out. Figure it out. And, uh, yeah, and it's, you know, it's a, Going from Mass Effect 1 to Mass Effect 2 is crazy. Especially when you do it in the course of a day. I mean, yes, those games <laughs> As it out. was meant to be experienced. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> those games came out, what was it, five years? Was it even five years apart? I don't know. Probably not that far. But no, anyway, but years just, apart. Sure. For all intents and purposes. Whatever years apart it was. And I don't remember the leap being that grand. Oh, it was huge. Yeah, it was I absolutely remember. huge back then, too. Yeah, it's like, it's amazing. Because Mass Effect 2 still feels modern. Whereas in Mass Effect 1 feels old when you're playing it. So that's all I have to say. And Mass Effect 2 is still very good. Okay. 
Yep. That's that's good. I'm, Are you I'm gonna finish it? one of the best video yeah. games of all time. It's still yeah. good. You know what? The other thing is like uh Elliot's now invested in the plot line too. So we're playing through it together, basically. So yeah, we'll we'll keep at it. It's something so, yeah. that we're doing. Are you yeah. are you a a dude Shepherd or a lady yeah? Shepherd? Well, I made the character with Elliot, so I'm Elliot Shepherd, and he helps make all the, like the real important decisions. So <laughs> who, who to bone? Basically, yes. He has very who specific, are we boning today, son? He has very specific <laughs> opinions face? on on, on very this. specific out of, uh, out of the face. Run. He was very much an Ashley man in that first game. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, I can okay. see that. She's yeah. like a meat and potatoes type of lady. Yeah, so there you go. That's cool. Oh, and according to the chat, it was three years between Mass Effect. Yeah, and Mass Effect. That's, that that sounds it about sounds right. right. Yeah, well, you could probably pretty substantial three years, though, too. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like, yeah, that was when those consoles were hitting their stride. Yep, yep, yep. You and it's also amazing how, how little I remember from those games and how and then when the things that I do remember happen, I'm like, oh, that's right. I remember this. Like I'm so, like I'm 130 years old. That's all I have to say. You're probably going to learn a lot about your son uh, playing Mass Effect uh, together. You may. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You probably really get to know him. I know he likes ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her butt, daddy. Why do I keep showing her butt? I mean, I like it, but. It's a, it's a, why is it taking up the whole screen? He did not watch the scene uh, in the first game. He missed that. Oh. I actually kind of made sure he missed that. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. That's good. Any more uh, show feedback? Um, He's already watched it on YouTube. Don't worry. Yeah, right. K Kiku Jerubil has to say. I absolutely lost it when Chipwreck casually tossed off one of the funniest CAG cast jokes of all time. Do you remember what it was, Shipwreck? I said it. Apparently, you said Batman drops into an <laughs> onto an island with 99 of his parents. Truly a classic goof. I will just want to bring it up here. I mean, you make so few jokes. So I wanted to make sure that when you do make one, it gets Thank highlighted. You. And you just point out every joke. Uh, that would be fantastic. <laughs> yep. That's what I'm here for. Mm hmm. <laughs> that was funny. Yep. Thank you. We know what Batman isn't dropping into. <laughs> <laughs> that was the other reason why I wanted to put that on here. <laughs> nice. Do you think DC like was excited that that information got out? It's a it's weird that I mean it's weird on many levels. First of all, have you you've watched that show, right? Harley Quinn. Yeah, let's go right into a watch this boys. Have you you watched the Harley Quinn show? Yeah, it's an adult Batman. cartoon. It's a it's a very adult cartoon. It's on HBO Max. If you haven't seen it and have HBO Max, I actually highly recommend it. It's very funny and very well made. Uh, but it's also very, very adult. So the fact that they wouldn't allow this is weird. Also, did you see the Killing Joke movie? Yes. Where Batman has like weird sex with Batgirl in that movie. What was weird it's about it? I don't remember. It's just it's it's awkward. It does not happen in the comic book version of the same thing. She's supposed to be like 18, just turned 18. It's like creepy and it's weird, but that was OK. This non canonical relationship between Batman and Batgirl that and made like, and no like his best friend's daughter. Yeah, exactly. It was creepy and weird and that was OK. But Batman having consensual oral relations with his potential wife, that Wait, is like... Isn't it, is she not his wife? I don't know about the cartoon. Okay. I, I, yes, in the comic books, they're married. So it's like, yeah. How's why, that going? I think it's going all right. Going I don't all right know. I don't really read I didn't Batman. know if the honeymoon was over or how that was how that was handling out. She's dealing Batman stuff Cat, again. I, I, I get my Batman Catwoman fix from the Fortnite comics where they're very much together. So, you know, but the, yeah, but it's weird. Like one thing which is kind of creepy and should never have happened, they allowed. And one thing that's pretty innocuous, they were like, no way, not our Batman. That is weird. Mm. Yeah, but not exactly. surprising in any way. Exactly. You know who doesn't do that though? Spider Man. Doesn't do what? Go down. Why not? Because that mask. Oh, I thought that was a better pun coming. Nah, that was it. 